Hello, welcome to another realistic session. My name is John. Today we're looking at Civil 3D, how it will help you in your architectural workflow. In our previous video on the AEC collection, we highlighted six of the 17 software packages included. These are Revit, Civil 3D, AutoCAD, InfraWorks, Navisworks Manage and Recap Pro. If you have done some research, you will find one suggested workflow. That is, you use InfraWorks for the context model, Civil 3D for the site works model, Revit Architecture, Structural and MEP for the building model. These are then linked into Navisworks for review. This method is commonly used by building contractors for construction and, and model review purposes. If you require workflow, which calls for a more hands-on approach between the building model and the site model, you may want to consider the following method. The site model from the outset is managed by Civil 3D. Here you can work with a points database or a survey model from the surveyor. If you're using BIM 360 from Autodesk, you will have an easier workflow, that is, less steps. Your surface model can be generated from Civil 3D and link to Revit through the Import Topography button from the Import Files ribbon. There is also a tool to better manage shared coordinates between these two programs. The current practice is for design technology or BIM managers to be handling any of the site-related uh, setups. Roads and footpaths can be generated in Civil 3D by creating a line in Revit to define the location and the extent of the road or footpath, export it back to Civil 3D and generate it there, then update it back into Revit. Reasons for this is Civil 3D has better tools for generating roads and footpaths. The roads and footpaths are also better integrated into the surface model. If you are finding Revit's top or surface difficult to use, that is to modify, we suggest you give this workflow a try. With the amount of pressure, pressure and stress on project teams in the construction industry, I was hoping for a more streamlined method. If you like to investigate the above methods further, you will need the following an AEC collection, a BIM 360 account, the 30-day trial version is available. To connect between Revit and Civil 3D, you will also need the Autodesk desktop connector, free from Autodesk. Uh, I've included the link below. We also recommend Eric Chappell's Autodesk Civil 3D 2021 Essentials on LinkedIn Learning. You can also contact us if you have any further questions.